You are suing your former lover? Uh, false. <laughs> you really gonna lie? When you reject people, their feelings tend to get hurt, and that's where beef starts. He drinks a lot, parties all the time. He bragged how he and messed who? my car okay. up. He vandalized my house. You yeah. are so well, lucky have, this is not have, the old Jerry show, because I seriously would throw a chair at you right I mean, now. You are <laughs> such a liar. This is ridiculous. Plaintiff Angela Kelly claims her ex totaled a rental car and destroyed her personal car in a vindictive rage. She's suing for $5,000. Defendant Timothy Casita claims the plaintiff is only suing him because he refused her romantic advances. He's countersuing for $5,000 for right loss hand? of business and slander. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The Honorable Judge Jerry Springer now presiding. Good morning, Your Honor. This is case number 114 on the docket, Kelly versus Casita. And welcome to both of you. Thank you. Let's see what we have here. We have the plaintiff, Angela Kelly. Angela, you are suing your, it says here, former lover, boyfriend. Ex. Uh, false. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Timothy Casita, is it? Yes, sir. For five thousand dollars for car damage and engine replacement and property damage, the defendant, that is Timothy, you are countersuing for five thousand dollars for slander and a loss of business. Hmm. Okay. So, Angela, what is your case? Um, I've known Mr. Casita and his family pretty much all my life. Not so much him, but his other family members. Yeah. Last April, two thousand nineteen. Um, me and him had been hanging out. We have history together. He needed somewhere to go because he was homeless, needed a place to stay. He wasn't working, didn't have anything, no car, no nothing. Yeah. So I'm by myself. I'm a single mom, four kids. So I said, you know mm -hmm. what? You can come stay with me, help pay half the bills, help me out, help with the kids. You can stay with me as long as you hold, you know, hold your own and you help sure. out. So during this time from April till this past April when my lease was up, um, my lease was already up. I was month to month. Uh, he never paid a bill. He never cleaned. False, he false, never false. bought. He never bought food. Never nothing. Bought stuff for himself. Never nothing. I came home one night in April. Um, he's a heavy. He drinks a lot. Parties all the time. Always had people at my house. I came home in April. Uh, I go to school full time, and I'm a, I work full time. Tim was having a party in my house, and I had my three youngest children yeah, who false. were all in, under twelve. He had a bunch of girls there, they were tatting, they were drunk. I said, you know, I gotta get up for work in the morning and I have school. I said, I just got off school, I just picked the kids up. He said that um, he started arguments, told me I was embarrassing him. I said, you know, you need to leave my house. You, you're not even on my lease. You don't pay me anything. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna kick you out. Argument started, he punched a hole in my wall. I uh, kicked out, I left on my own. He broke both of my televisions, so I didn't want my kids around that, so I left. Went to my mom's. Um, I went back like three days later. Uh, he totaled my house. I tried to recoup things myself. Uh, a couple weeks later, he sent me a message on Facebook apologizing, saying he messed up, he was drunk, he didn't mean to do that. That's not true. Told me that, uh, <clears throat> you know, he didn't want to ruin the friendship because it, relationship, friendship, I was better friends with him than being in a relationship. He was a good friend prior to anything. Let me just say, we've never been in a relationship, you know. Yes, I did live with her. Like I said, she's been on my family for a while now, you know what I'm saying? But not really me, because I'm younger than her, you know what I mean? And yes, I stayed not there. I felt like by staying there, you know what I'm saying? She wanted more of a romantic, physical relationship with okay. me, obviously, Jerry, you know. But that's but, not uh, relevant, yeah. But I, that I, has I, nothing I, to do with so, the so, my so, car so, okay. so sometimes, you know what I'm saying, when you reject people, you know what I'm saying, sometimes their feelings tend to get hurt, and then, you know what I'm saying, that's where beef starts, you know? So, in June, he called me, he sent me a message. He said, hey, I need to get a rental. I need to get around so that he was, I guess he was trying to get a place or get on his feet, whatever. I, I, he said he couldn't get the rental in his name because of his credit. He asked me if I'd co-sign. A rental car. A yeah. rental car, he sent me a text, yeah. which um, I brought proof of that. And I told him, yeah, I'd help you, but you have to pay it and you have to pay the deposit. Just, you know, make sure, you know, do what you gotta do. So this was on a Tuesday. Wednesday morning, I picked him up. He went to the car rental place, got the rental. I put it in my name, put him on as a driver. Yeah, in your name. Wednesday, he got the car. Sunday night, uh, the rental place calls me, says the rental wasn't returned. I tried to call him, couldn't get a hold of him. I didn't know if he was out of town, because he, he, he's, he's busy, he's a gigolo. He's all I over town. I switched phones, Your Honor. I admit, yeah, she, yeah, she co-signed, or she, she signed. I couldn't get the car in my name. I admit that, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, 
Um, he never replied, so I called the rental company. I paid for three more days because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't want to take a chance, you know, getting charged even more, so I paid out of my own pocket. Wednesday afternoon comes, the rental company calls, says the vehicle was located in an impound. I texted Mr. Casita, and he explained to me that he had been at a friend's house drinking, and when he crashed the car into a parked car. Pretty much totaled it. The type of insurance I had with the agreement with the people was 50-50, whatever. The, he was like $7,000 in damage. He, he apologized, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, you know what, I don't have the money to do this. It to wasn't the whole front end, that's not. He said he'd pay me back. I said, okay, you know, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to argue, you know, if you were drinking, people do stupid stuff when they're drinking. I get it, fine. You know, I'm not a confrontational person by any means. I don't argue with anybody. I wasn't drinking and driving, though. A couple weeks go by, he not, he, no response, no response from him. I go on Facebook, and he's being his gigolo self again in South Carolina <laughs> on a beach. So I went on Facebook, and I vented on my own Facebook to my own friends. So a few days later, uh, I get a text message from him talking about that I was saying bad things about him on Facebook and it was. Uh, that, that I messed his business up and people you weren't going to get tattoos from him. Dude, shut up. And they didn't. Anyways, <laughs> um, I think he told you to be quiet. What did he, he what threatened did you, me. what did you write about him? All I said was that it's pretty sad that, you know, somebody can put me in debt or I help people out and they turn around and they're out partying but can't pay me what they owe me. But okay. you're in South Carolina on a beach or at a strip club throwing $100 bills at women on a pole, but you can't pay me what you owe me. <laughs> so long story short, three days later, I go to go to work. I come out of work, my back window and my car is busted. I knew, I knew it was him. You sure you ain't getting into a car accident? I knew it was him. So I go to drive down the street, my car just stops. What, like smoke started coming out of it. So a friend of mine came and picked me up. I got my car towed. Wasn't me. The photos of the, uh, there's actually a photo of the broken window um, that. So the window is gone, I see yeah, that. Yeah, uh, the uh, repair. Has that ever happened to you before? No. Has, no one has no. done something? I don't even have friends. I work too much, I have kids. My friends are my kids. I, 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 I have four kids. Tell them why you ain't got no friends. Long story short, a uh, mechanic calls me, says that they had found uh, sugar, some kind of sugar in my gas tank. It's, it's actually in Exhibit K. Uh, my engine had to be replaced. I had to get a new gas can or gas tank. Uh, everything had to be, had to be cleared out. Uh, the total of that was $3,148 that I had to pay out of my own. I paid myself. You probably, you know this, you did I mean, a tattoo. I do tattoos every day all up until you started slandering well, my name. short, long hair. May, may not. I, Jerry, I do tattoos. This is what I do for a living. She I went do, to the strip club I with do, you last year. I do year. tattoos every single day on a daily okay, basis. Okay, you don't remember. I, okay. I do hundreds and he hundreds of tattoos. Lying. I know. You were so lucky this is not the old Jerry Springer show. I'm so booked up. I'm so booked <laughs> up. Yeah, I do hundreds and hundreds of tattoos every single day. You know what I'm saying? I'm so booked up. But, you know but I ruined his business, I'm right? So, yeah, you're yeah, suing me, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 I am. Because, but, but, but if okay. I ruined I've been your business, for, how are you doing tattoos? On, because I've been doing this for about 13, 14 years. Yeah, and that's right, why, but I ruined your that's reputation. That's why I've been doing this for a long time. But how can I go to work if, you know what I'm saying, she's slandering my name, she's telling people don't get tatted by he me. He just said he was opening a business. You know what I'm saying? She's telling people that he I gave her staph infection. He just said he does hundreds of tattoos. She's telling people I gave her MRSA. She's telling people I'm strung out on drugs while I'm doing tattoos. Where's your proof? would be stupid. Where's your proof? I mean, okay, on that. I mean, I got proof right here. This is my niece. I don't know if you want to read it or, you, or if you want me to read it. It says, I am writing this message and making these statements uh, regarding posts I've witnessed and seen on Facebook and Instagram that Angela Kelly has made harassing and slandering my uncle Timothy Casita's name in a 100K Inc. tattoo business. Angela said things like, don't ever get tatted or excuse me, tattoo done by Timothy Casita, 100K uh, Inc. Uh, he gave me staph infection and MRSA. Also saying things like I was like, 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 uh, like I was on drugs and I, uh, and I, I was a drug that. dealer and that I, I that. was doing these okay. tattoos high and you know what I'm saying, my needles that. were okay. dirty. Okay. okay, I would have to see that and then if you have copies of those posts, I, I would like to see those. But admittedly on both sides, well, I, on I, what your friend, uh, Texted and what you're reading now, mm -hmm. on both sides, those are hearsay. So I uh, have you to. You are so well, I lucky. Have, this I is don't not have, the old Jerry show because I seriously would throw a chair at you right I mean, now. <laughs> you are such a liar. This is ridiculous. 
Uh, I would I would have the messages, but do I didn't know about the, them. Do you have those posts? No, I don't have them. Right, because it's a lie. Because it's bl a lie. Like, social media works like this. You can block certain people no. from seeing messages. No, yeah, but apparently you know your I mean? family's on my page, yeah. right? So they could have showed you. And I'm going to tell you something. The only reason I didn't call the cops is because we live in a small city, and he has a lot of female friends, and I didn't need the drama. You call the cops all the time. No, I about? definitely don't. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you I do. don't. No, I, I don't. Notice. Okay. You can have this copy. I've if you lost want, though, so Jay. much because right. of him. Like oh, I almost lost my place. My, I've yeah. almost lost everything because of him. Everything. I don't. You're saying I understand. Let's say you got angry at her. You're saying you didn't break that window. I mean, I'm saying did she see me break the window? No, I, I know mean, she didn't see you. Yeah. I have a witness. I, okay, well, okay, that's not response. She didn't. But seriously, <laughs> is it possible? You asked you... me to tell you something that you know I can't, I can't speak on. I mean, if she see me break the window, I mean, that's a different story. But can I say something though? Yeah, but but you're saying you're huh? saying here you didn't not. I know she didn't see. Did? Oh no 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 no. You did not. No. You did not get someone to bust that window. You didn't bust Who, me? that window. Nah. First and foremost, a mutual uh, friend did a, first he did foremost, a tattoo on. First and foremost, he told them, "Why don't you let me finish?" Well, he did a tattoo on, bragged to her how he messed who, my car okay. up, and who was and that? And how he trashed the car. Okay, first and foremost, we were we, never I in mean, a relationship. To be here I have a, 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 I have a statement from no, her. Like she couldn't be here because she's first pregnant. First and foremost, we were never in a relationship. Okay, hold on. She's nine months. She's pregnant. What item is that? It's Exhibit M. From who? Where she stated, he said the night before he was supposed to bring the car back. This was both of them, that he crashed the car at my friend's, at a, a friend's complex. Apparently, he had been drinking that night. And then he went on to tell her how he vandalized my car, messed my car up, and I had what was coming to me. So he's, he's lying. And who said that? This is hearsay. Does this woman sound familiar to you at all? That doesn't even sound like something I would say to a woman. Well, that I, sounds that like might pillow be, talk. I don't, I mean, look at me, Wait, Jerry. you're telling no. this court, OK, you're <laughs> telling talk, the man. court. I look a little smoother than that, don't I? Well, you dress very nice. Thank you. Thank you. You, you so do. I wish I had a jacket like that. Yes. Oh, you can borrow it anytime. You can have yeah, it after yeah, this. Man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Obviously, somebody crashed your car, threw a rock or whatever through the window, put Coke in it or Pepsi. I don't want to choose favorites here, but put some <laughs> sugar thing in the gas tank that caused a lot of damage. I got that. And that is horrible. What I don't have is I can suspect, you can suspect, you in your mind can be positive that he was the one that did it, but in a court of law... Timmy, you really didn't damage my car? You a lie? You really gonna lie? You're really gonna lie? You I saying? saved you from going to jail. I could have pressed charges on you. You're really gonna lie? You're telling this court under oath, mm -hmm. just so we establish a record, that under That's oath, oath you, you go are to jail saying that. that you had nothing to do I got a breaking lot of, listen, the back window. Jerry, what I can say, of, let me finish. What I can say is I you had nothing. You are saying under oath. You are saying that you had nothing to do with the breaking of the back window of her car and just damage to her me, car. You had nothing to do with that. Just say, just say that. Hold on, let me just say this. Me. I got a lot of people that love me. You know what I'm saying? That wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Retaliate against her. Okay. If and if so, you know what I'm saying, somebody did something on well, I ain't saying my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Right. But because they care about me. He's going around you know, the yeah. truth. I can't I can't I can't help that. You know what I'm saying? I can't he help. He did it. You know? There's your okay. proof. I didn't do it myself. He did it. Okay. I didn't do it myself. Trust me. Uh, there, I didn't do it myself. I, there is your proof. I didn't do it myself. Do you have an idea who might have done I it? I mean, I'm I mean I mean we could Hmm? Suspect all we want. Like I said, I got a lot of people that love me. There was people that wanted to do things to her. You know what I'm saying? And a, a lot of people. You know, I got a lot of I got a lot of female family and a lot of you know what I'm saying just people that like me. You know what I'm saying? As far one. as physically harm her, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I told them, no, I'm not like you know what I'm saying. Just leave it alone. Period. So I have a mean. strong oh. suspicion, particularly when you kept talking now about I got friends who would even hurt her. I'm, and you said no. You said, I, I, I get yeah, what I you said, you, but no, that's to most people in this world, that's kind of scary. Yeah. So I, I got to say, in terms of the suit, is that you are entitled to the twenty five hundred, but on the amount on the rental, I'm just talking about okay. the rental. That's on you. I mean, you were driving I mean, the car. You were, I, whether you were drinking or not. Yeah, I wasn't drinking. Okay. I wasn't, okay. Yeah. But you damaged the car and. She but had I didn't to come sign. up with the money. She I had didn't to come sign. up with the money. But you were a driver. You could have never drove the car. Okay. I would have never given you the, the keys. Car. You definitely right. did, and you're lucky. All right, I but let's get on. Okay, there is 
clear evidence, clear proof, and I have no problem making the decision that that would be his responsibility. On this, you've said enough to make me comfortable with the notion that I don't mind saying 1500 should go to her for the damage to the car because clearly they were friends of yours or people, as you said, that may be doing things to get back at her. What about the loss of my business, but, though? Like the months but, that, or, or okay. even the weeks. I never so him. Okay. The months or weeks. If you had come to court, and I mean this mm -hmm. on your side, if you had come to court and showed me the texts of her statements where she said something which was not true. Yeah, see, but I didn't know about well, I'm just saying, if I don't have that proof of that, yeah. I can't rule that way. So here's my decision. I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $4,097. Countersuit dismissed. I didn't ruin his business, so I guess it is what it is. I just gotta pay the rest myself. I feel like I lost work. I know I definitely lost work. I lost a lot of money. Um, in time, you know. I do not ever want anybody else living with me. And no, I do not have feelings for Timmy anymore. I don't think she's a bad person, not at all. You know, I just feel like she can't just be going around slandering people's names like that. And especially when they're coming down to their business, you know what I'm saying? Because people don't play about their money. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.